Okay, John, let's have a look at our um, circuit planning then. We've already decided which uh, the landing area is going to be, which is landing on the southwest run. Uh, the wind direction is down from the southwest. And my reference point is going to be about 50 yards in from the threshold markers. Now I'm judging my height by looking at the features on the ground and looking at their clarity. As you can see they're a lot clearer now. You can add a lot, of more, a lot more detail in the houses and the trees. You can see uh, that the edges are sharper. And this is a good indication that we're getting to the more or less the right sort of height for our start our circuit. We are actually in about uh, the correct area for our high key area. Uh, for our high key uh, area with upwind and off to one side of the landing area. Okay, I'm now going to put my gear down and if it's welded, in case of the K13, my speed will be 55 knots on the approach. I'm going to start going downwind. Make my radio call. Uh, Talgarth Tango 10 is right hand downwind landing southwest. And off we go downwind, down the carriages down and locked. Downwind we'll use 55, 50 knots for best LD. And I'm looking at the angle between us and the landing area for the height and distance we have in today's conditions. How does that look? Well, at the moment it looks relatively okay. The angle looks about right for what we need today. Only things a little bit steep, uh, so I was going to edge out a little bit. The angle gets a little bit flatter for the height and distance that we have in today's conditions. We're now opposite our reference point, so I'm now going to turn on to our diagonal leg. Accelerate the glider to 55 knots and re trim. Look inside the cockpit, locate the air brake handle, place your hand on it. Maintain a really good lookout, it's both in and out the circuit and in the opposite direction around the circuit in case somebody's on the opposite left hand circuit. How does it look at the moment? It looks a little bit steep at the moment for the height and distance we have in today's condition. So I'm going to edge out a little bit. Nobody else still in the circuit. 55 knots. How does that look now? That's a bit better. So I'm now going to put ourselves onto the base leg. This is the flexible part of the circuit where you can move in and out to get the uh, approach angle correct. Looking outside the circuit, still nobody else conflicting with us. 55 knots. How does that angle look between us and the landing area? For the height and distance we have in today's conditions, that still looks pretty good. We can continue on the base leg here. Hand is on air brakes, undercarriage is down and locked. Speed 55 knots, I've re trimmed. One last look outside to make sure it's clear. The landing area is clear. A nice crisp roll onto the approach, string in the middle, 55 knots. We're now on the approach, maintaining 55 knots. We're letting the reference point come down the canopy. As I get to the point where I think we're going to be for half to two thirds air brakes. There's half to two thirds air brake, 55 knots. We're overshooting a little bit, uh, John, so I've now got full air brake, 55 knots. 55 knots, keep the wings level, full air brake, 55 knots. Fifty-five knots. Keep the wings level. Undershooting a little bit, so I'm easing the brakes in a little. Fifty-five knots. Keep the wings level. Put the gaze to the other end of the airfield. Start gently raising the nose. Gently raise the nose. Keep the wings level. Raise the nose. Gently, gently, gently. Touchdown. Brakes fully open. Keep the wings level with aileron. Keep track and straight with the rudder. Move the stick progressively to the back. Stop to keep the weight back in the nose.